everyone before we get into today's video every time that we go on these lifestyle cruises or events or travel places anything like that we always have a ton of people coming up and telling us that our content has helped them decide that they either want to go and so if our content helps you at all and you would like to support the channel if you guys want to book through our links with us right here you can find all the information about all the different vacations it helps us out a ton it doesn't cost you any extra and if we're on that specific cruise or event with you we do do some extra things Things like activities, meetups, and give out little special foreplay gifts. And so you can find all that information right here. Good morning, everyone. It is the beginning of day three. Jason and I just went and we got breakfast. I ended up getting the same thing that we did yesterday, but we just got pretty much the same thing too. And then we went to our favorite coffee place on the ship, Cafe Al Baccio. And we got two mocha frappuccinos. This frappuccino is literally so good. Like by far the best frappuccino I've ever had. Starbucks could never. Here's the you doing a morning think, update? Yeah, morning update. Just updating on oh, um, breakfast. Got our coffees. We have a little meeting today with the Temptation staff, and so we're going to do that right now. It's in like about 10 minutes. I found so, one. It's just over here. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go over there, do that, and then. The pool party is today, so I guess we'll go ahead. first pool party. Yeah. It's on day three, which I feel like seems like a long time. Usually it's on day two, but since we had a um, port or a, yeah, port day on day two, yeah. um, first pool party sea day is yeah. today. Uh, also, it hasn't even been two full days yet. Day mm -hmm. so like technically it's only been like 40% because we got on the ship at like... Actually, no, now it's about the same. But, but, so like, but that's got, only 40% because it's literally... 10 o'clock, we got on the ship at 1 o'clock. You haven't even been on here oh, for Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Days. Nice, nice. <laughs> it's just like 38%. <laughs> Look how pretty it looks outside. Wow. It's like my favorite thing, looking out and seeing nothing. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I think it's really cool and really relaxing. Another update, since today is a sea day and everybody is at the pool, won't be able to really show much and we're about to go yeah. party. So um, we'll kind of tell you what we did, what we plan on doing. Um, we did go watch the... Belly flopping. Belly, belly, oh, belly flopping. <laughs> Right. Um, one of my favorite things was like they gave people a perfect score if they would do it and this girl was already topless and she just like took her bottoms off and threw them and did a belly flop and everyone was like going crazy it was it was such a good energy oh uh, we also had a meeting this morning with some of like the like affiliate stuff we do a temptation with a bunch of people and we're so excited because next year it's gonna be our norwegian ship we've never been new on ship. before new ship <laughs> new ship and, uh, uh, norwegian pearl yeah we uh one of the people that was in there they were talking about it and they said that the norwegian pearl is actually one of the best ships to go on a charter cruise at all because they literally almost half of the cruises are charter cruises so like that's like the biggest ship that you can like not biggest but like the most used charter ships so they're supposed to be amazing for charters so, so it's like more like their specialty yeah and, which um, i think will make it amazing so and it'll be nice to be like on a new ship and kind of just have yeah. everything be like fresh i feel like um, yeah. it's been on the ship for the last we've been on this is our third year going on the ship and i think it was on the ship on uh four years ago too and yeah. so we are excited for next year we are already booked well, well, and we're not four nine if yeah we're four nine with us, and right yeah here, if you guys want to come link. with our group Group, you guys can go to foreplay.com slash travel. We have a ton of different places that you can go, but then you can go there, playcation, foreplay.com slash playcation. You can see more about it. Foreplay.com slash cruise if you yeah. want some of the cruises. We'll put all of them though <laughs> down below so if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, so now it is time for us to probably go to the pool for a little bit and then we can probably take you guys to lunch so you can at least see what we eat for lunch. And yeah, but it's just been a really fun good morning and I'm so excited for our first day at sea. It's really bad lighting, but I want you guys to see like how pretty the back is. So tonight we are doing our dinner. We do a little RSVP, but we don't know how many people are gonna show up, you know? So we have this table that has 12, and we have a couple other tables over there. So I think we could fit 20 people uh, that we have saved in this little section. So hopefully people will start arriving soon. Dinner just like opened, so it's right around six o'clock. So, so hopefully we see some people soon, but we're just excited to have another little dinner with everybody, kind of hang out. I don't know, it should be really nice. And the buffet here is actually so good. So it's a win. -win. And look how pretty the background is. Look at this view. Wait, what? what's the thing? I love, 
You're my you're best my, view. Yeah, you're yeah. my best view. <laughs> So what I am doing, it's around 8 o'clock right now. We had such an amazing dinner. We had a great little turnout with some of the people, some of the people from the group. So it was just so much fun. We just had a dinner buffet and just talked for two hours. It was so wonderful. So everyone in this group has just been so amazing. It's been so fun to just meet so many great people. And it's, our group has just been incredible this year. And so now what I am doing is because it's a Bella is going to be ready, I will get ready here pretty soon. But every single night, this is kind of what I do. I go and I run errands, I guess maybe is what you could call it. So basically, I will go, I got us a couple of drinks, so I'll be able to take those back to the room. And so I, I kind of do this every single night. I just haven't blocked it, but I just run around. If we need to, you know, pick something up or ask for extra towels or do whatever, I kind of do that while Bella's getting ready. And so that's a little fun thing I like to do. I know the video is not going to do it justice, but the moon tonight is like insanely beautiful. Just got back to the room. I also, here's Bella doing her makeup. Told you she was doing her makeup. <laughs> uh, I also, after I went and got our drinks, I picked up some pizza because it's, the buffet closes at two o'clock here. I always wanted to make sure we had some food in case we ended up staying later. Like last night we danced till 2.30. So, I mean, it's just nice to be able to have some food when you get home. We also, I saw our, wonderful stateroom attendant in the hallway and asked him for an extra sheet. Oh, we actually need extra uh, towels too. Okay, I can go look for him <laughs> and see if I can find it because he was in a different hallway. Oh, okay. But <laughs> um, we got at least some sheets, uh, which is always nice to have extra of. And so now Bella's getting ready. I gotta take a shower so we can get into our outfits. It is some of our friends. Tonight is Pimps and Hoes Night, which if you guys have heard us talk about this, we don't love that theme, but two of our friends are getting married soon and we are doing like a bachelor, bachelorette party thing for them. And so we're kind of doing more of our own fetish night, if you will. And so that is what we're gonna get dressed up for tonight. I'm really excited about that. So I also have to get ready and yeah, then we're gonna go party. So we are about to go to- I have to stay behind because you can't really yeah. see my outfit. It's a little bit inappropriate. <laughs> so, uh, so we're basically about to go and some of our friends are getting married here pretty soon. And so we're doing a little bachelor Well, Well, not here on the ship. No, no, not on the yeah, ship, but they're both getting married. Yeah. To, like you know Same. in general <laughs> uh and so we're doing a little bachelor bachelorette party and so it is like a pimps and hoes theme we've talked about this many times we don't love that theme so for the bachelor bachelorette party we kind of decided to do this little fish type night which is yeah, always just a like fun a bunch of shibario <laughs> yeah and but um we thought it'd be kind of fun to show you what the daily activities kind of look like so we can't take you everywhere so this you get one of these little brochures if you want to call it that a cruise compass depending on what ship you're on basically just goes through and it tells you like some fun events that are going on so you have all of your normal events that you'd have so there's like a fitness class at seven which that's crazy that people are going to be there at seven on a swingers cruise and a bicycle class at eight but then they also have these ones that are highlighted in pink so you can see like here i guess if you guys want to screenshot that or something uh but the pink ones they do more like the ones that are specifically for temptation so that at 10 30 this morning there was a sensual stretching and then at 11.30, there was a lap dance couples type class. There was a belly flop competition, which we went to. We talked about that one. It was really fun. There's a hypnotic sex class. Actually, our friends went to that and said that it was really, really amazing. And they, it's like hands on. Like it I was. Think it's more mouths on. No, no, that one was like. Well, it was all things on, <laughs> bodies on, but she, they, cause I want to kind of explain like what it was cause we didn't actually go, but she said that it was kind of, um, sensory, not sensory deprivation, but just like very Zen, just kind of like meditating, getting into the moment. She said that it was, um, really, really cool and really nice. And then, so there was like a Timtastic time with the Playmakers. They had the color explosion pool party today. So it was basically just a bunch of people all hanging out at the pool, which actually ended up being a really, really fun time. And let's see, there was, you know, another, a meet and greet, which I'm actually really happy. This is meet and greet with Latin fever. I don't know what that means per se, but we've talked about in the past that Temptation didn't always do meet and greets, which we always felt like they should have done meet and greets. And so they've been incorporating that. There's been like at least one or two meet and greets every day, which we haven't gone to, 
but I'm really happy they actually are doing meet and greets because that's one thing we really wish Temptation would have done. So that's pretty amazing. They also had topless a topless blackjack tournament and we forgot to go to that, but we actually did yeah. go to that and I forgot. I think we were like talking with a couple or yeah. like, having lunch or something. Yeah. yeah, and then there's a comedy show that happened like an hour ago. We didn't go to that either. And then the party starts tonight at 11 and then there's an after party at 1.30. But basically you just get one of these every single day and it'll, you know, show you all the fun stuff. So maybe we can go over some of the stuff they're doing tomorrow and tomorrow is a day in Cosmo. We haven't decided if we're gonna get off the boat or not yet, but we'll definitely take you guys along with that one. But we really loved daily vlogging here. It's just been so, so much fun. We're having the best time on this cruise. Guys, so we've been dancing for a long time and we're probably gonna go dance more, but we wanted to do a little update and just say hi. <laughs> We love you guys. I, pretty much. Thanks we love watching. you guys so much. Yeah, thanks for watching. We're currently, we're being sneaky and we're in the Solera. You like literally can't even see. <laughs> oh, maybe I can do this. That's well, better, I, it maybe. didn't really do much. But we're in the solarium. We're having to put it like this so nobody can see anything. Um, the solarium's open, I think, 24 hours. I heard so... they closed it down last night because too many people in here at 6 a.m. So I don't know if they're going to change it. We'll see. I mean, that's a long time. So, okay, here's what happens. So, everyone's dancing out on the dance floor, and then the party gets moved to the, like, inside. Okay, but also this is going to change next year, so it's gonna be a completely different so This is just thing. information. Yeah, this but is- it's just up there what's happening right, yeah, right now. Yeah, so right now. Then everything's going to go to the Sky Lounge, and then that's going to go for a few hours, and I guess, like, after that, there's, people will come and party at the Solarium. So the Solarium is, a big pool and there's like four hot tubs kind of all the way around and so i don't think we're gonna be up that late but some people are and if you want to be up that late yeah anyways okay love you guys <laughs> Alrighty, guys so we weren't planning on doing another update but here's another update so we finished like hanging out upstairs and we we're like let's go get some food and here's a couple clips of like what the nighttime buffet looks like but i am a literal five-year-old and it's like my favorite little plate right here and this is what i get to eat before i go to sleep we actually brought it back to our room tonight usually and we did we did see some of our friends over at the at the buffet usually we'll like go and eat out with them and we'll like hang out and stuff for a little bit but like sometimes you just want to like you know be with your partner sometimes i'm like like you just want to like have that a long time with your partner yeah. so we brought all of our food back here and they had french fries and <laughs> chicken nuggets and pizza and and popcorn oh. shrimp they haven't had that, I don't think, the yeah, last like, few nights. Well, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna eat this, enjoy this, enjoy just each other's company and cuddle and go to sleep. And tomorrow we're gonna be up in Cancun. It was very nice because we were planning on going and dancing and doing all this stuff. And then we went and we sat on a solarium and we like when we put that little clip in and we sort of have this really amazing, fun conversation together. And we just spent the night just laying in that little bed and it was so nice. I felt like so connected and it was just, such a great evening and now yeah. i feel like so excited i mean we've been having an amazing time yeah. i feel like even more excited for the next two days like, i just feel like i'm just so excited like and it, it's just been truthfully one of the best cruises we've ever had so far and and just yes. know that like this is that's completely okay for you whenever you go on cruises like this if, they, if you're like with a partner and like you get overwhelmed with like all of the people around and like should we do this should we go here just know that like it's you and your partner like that's the core you guys need to yeah. like s make that the priority and just know that like if even if you already had plans to go do something else like if it doesn't feel right then you always have your partner and it's and okay to just yourselves. yeah i mean don't hurt somebody obviously but like take care of yourselves like make yeah, sure like, that you guys you are prioritizing each other to feel safe and comfortable so if you said you're going to meet somebody but then you, you need time for yourself, it's okay. Yeah, so, and if you just need to go and get food and go hang out together, it's completely fine. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, like times like these are necessary. And yeah. anyways, I feel like we're like pretty vulnerable right here. And I don't feel like we, we're like this on the podcast, but I don't feel like you usually get to see like this parts of us like yeah. on YouTube, YouTube, but, um, or like a video <laughs> format. But anyway, so we love you guys and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.